Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, tonight I had a chance to just, you know, sit around and uh, surf the internet for a little bit, you know, and I discovered something so damn crazy that I really, really, really need to talk about it, and I really need to say that it has Jim Jones overtones written all over it, and um, I'm very concerned about these young people uh, in Costa Rica, where they went from Costa Rica, because now that I've, I've seen pretty much I have seen what is going on I just was compelled to look at a few videos about what has happened and so <coughs> a few of the things that excuse me that I saw that disturbed me was um there were some people playing with afterbirth after a woman had a baby and the situation wasn't very sterile to me at all um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm saying this because, you know, I lived through the era of Jim Jones, Koresh, you know, a lot of, um, people who were eccentric, but charismatic enough to allow people to spend their money, um, go to the poorhouse, leave everything. And follow them. Hmm. Kind of reminds you of a story, don't it? Except one of the worst ones was Jim Jones. And that was so devastating. Because again, um, I knew a couple people who had relatives that got caught up in that um, massacre. However, that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about somebody named Nature Boy. Elagio, whatever he calls himself now. I'm very concerned about him and his group of people simply because, um, you know, it seems as if they are not considering the children. <coughs> seems to be a lot of adults that are focused on themselves and what they want to do. They're in the jungle. They're having unprotected sex with each other. And because um, they're following this young man that feels that he's some kind of Christ reincarnate, um, it just has really, really messed up results written all over it that really quite frankly, concerns me. I don't know if it's going to last very long because from the looks of it, from what some of the information that I've gathered, they have been arrested before um, and that's when they were in Costa Rica and then they came back, I guess, to the States and then they left again and now that they found a way to go to Belize from via Mexico or yeah, I may have the chronological order totally wrong but the foundation of what I'm saying is very concerning I'm concerned because I saw one lady up there Aliana and she could have been my daughter she could have been my granddaughter um, I felt extremely bad because she seemed to have been brainwashed she seemed to not have a mind of her own at all. She seemed to be very insecure. And it seems as if her significant other, the Christ, is what he calls himself, uh, Eligiano the Christ or whatever, um, he doesn't even give her a chance to talk. Every time she tries to complete a sentence, he finishes it for her. I mean, it's so classic narcissistic behavior that... I'm really concerned for her. 
because she could be, like I said, anybody's daughter. And at this point, you know, I usually don't like to do these kind of videos where I'm um, going in on people that are sitting there right now, but this situation needs to be thoroughly investigated. There are children being born. If it was just grown people up there wilding out, having unprotected sex the way they are, giving each other diseases and passing them back and forth, and if that's what they want to do, if they like it, I love it. I wouldn't even have a problem with it. If that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. Um, but at one time, I thought that they were practicing some type of safe sex because I thought they said that there was no babies allowed and they didn't want to have babies. Now, all of a sudden, I'm seeing these children up here being born. And that's what frightens me. That's what has got me head over heels because I'm like, what in the Sam's hell would y'all be I'm really disturbed by it. I don't... There's rumors of them having um, HIV. And there was one women's woman specifically, she wouldn't say um, what disease it was, but she did say that he infected her with something. And she's back in the States now, I guess. Um, there's one girl on there who uh, the Eliana girl her father I know he feels bad because he's got this guy over there manipulating his baby and there's nothing he can't do about it he can do about it because her mind is right here well he's the only man I know and so which is like almost like he must have been a piss poor example of a father in order for her to think that that's a man I mean, boy, it's like MK Ultra situation. No dis that's no disrespect to you, brother. I don't even know you. If you see this video, the point I'm trying to make is I, I'm with you. Um, I'm with your mother. I believe that's who it was, who was the grandmother uh, who Nature Boy addressed so disrespectfully. Hey, Grandma. Well, you know, I thought that was very disrespectful. Not even knowing the woman, knowing the situation that you didn't kidnapped her daughter, you taking advantage of her insecurities, her youngness, and you look a little bit older than her. She looks very young, like she's barely 19, 18, 19. Um, I'm just, I was just sick to my stomach. And what it reminded me of, like I said again, Jim Jones. It reminded me of everybody that went to South America again, and they ended up in Jones, a place they called Jonestown. But really, what really, really, really got me when I thought about the kids is I had a friend named Barbara that I grew up in church with. And Barbara's dad was extremely, extremely anti-doctor. Now, that's, I don't, that's what his family believed because other people in the church went to the doctor, so I don't know why he 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 didn't go. And they weren't Jehovah Witnesses; they were sanctified. To make a long story short, um, Barbara, who was a few years older than me, not much, maybe about four years, but we used to sing when she would come visit our church and stuff. And she was the person that I really had established a a young person relationship with, you know, and. Um, Again, her her stomach used to stick out all the time. And we, I would always wonder, you know, why why Barbara stomach stick out so much? And she kind of walked like a little duck, sort of like. Well, it's because that she had a lot of, a lot of impactment going on. Her parents wasn't seeing that she used the bathroom regularly, which sounds to me today like something freaking crazy. Um, anyway, to make a long story short. Her, her bowels locked on her. She was in the hospital once for locked bowel. She came out. Her bowels locked on her. She was so impacted that her bowels locked up. And then she got in the bathtub and her intestines, whatever, busted open. And all that stuff was in the bathtub, her sister said. And she was just squirting up and down, up and down. Anyway, she never went to the doctor. So let me make sure I take that. Yeah, she never went to the doctor for the parents didn't believe in a doctor and she died 
She died. Oh, so, so silly. But years later, they had another baby. They wouldn't take to the doctor, and that baby died as well. So at some point, the county came in and took, um, when she got pregnant again, they made sure they took that baby, if I can recall correctly. It was such a long time ago. So the point I'm trying to make is the kids are like hostages in situations like this when their parents are mentally ill or, you know, or found some type of liberation or they running from something, looking for some escapism. They take their children to these remote islands. It, the children are basically hostages. Again, they can do nothing about it. You know, I also heard someone died in the jungle because, you know, they went there to be healed by this guy. And remember, he took her off the medicine because they don't believe in medicine. They do everything naturally. And even, you know, that's why I was saying about that placenta that really disturbed me because I saw them washing placenta with their hands and Everything was just a mess as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, I want y'all, you know, if I don't know if he can maintain his living. A lot of y'all are running there for escapism and getting away from your uh, responsibilities here. I get it. It seems like such a nice place and it is tropically beautiful. But if you got to go there and be controlled by another human being or if you run in there because you're running away from your parents or somebody because you don't want to do the work or you want to take such an easy way out that you might end up pushing yourself the easiest way in a bad situation that you can't get your ass out of. So I wish everybody on that compound the best. I May God bless y'all, keep y'all, give you wisdom and discernment. Uh, to make the right decisions for your lives. But what I do pray is that somebody come in and take those babies up out of there and give them a thorough examination. And then after that, they can be returned to their parents. And other than that, I have a whole problem with that um, setup. So, you know, y'all should go check. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's so disgusting. Um, there's a series of things about this individual. His name is Nature Boy. And like I said, he's called himself a whole bunch of other things now at this point, but he's the closest thing in the black community, it seems to me, um, to Jim Jones. You know? And I don't like what I'm seeing. You know, there's a lot of narcissistic, misogynistic, polygamy going on and open sex, you know, it just seems to be a problem, a real problem, but that's just me, just my opinion, and I think my opinion means something, so with that being said, young ladies, I'm real concerned about you, wake up, go back to your family that loves you, and get away from that person that has got your mind totally fried, and with that being said, um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time in the mental house. Bye-bye.